I call up. You for asked for the fight. I asked for this fight. I watched him fight, and then I made I made a tweet. <laughs> I like the fact that Francis is saying, "I wanted this. Let's not get it twisted. It wasn't offered to me. I called for this." Francis Nagandu conveyed a strong sense of confidence in his potential match against Anthony Joshua during their recent face-off interview. Experts are currently scrutinizing the dialogue, and there's a prevailing belief that Nagandu appears more formidable and composed compared to a less assured version of himself. Michael Bisping, a seasoned analyst, asserts that Francis Ngannou has shown considerable improvement since his debut fight against Tyson Fury. Right. Francis Ngannou is going to be a better version and a more terrifying and effective boxer against Anthony Joshua than what he was against Tyson Fury. In the Pain Game podcast, True Jordy expressed the belief that Ngannou possesses a resilience against punches making him a formidable and potentially hazardous opponent for Anthony Joshua. I've seen take waxing fucking four rounds gloves like they're nothing, elbows are fury. I've never really seen him look hurt in my life. I've seen him look knackered and tired. I've never seen him look like he's been hurt by a punch. The boxing community anticipates a challenging encounter for Anthony Joshua in his upcoming fight against Francis Ngannou. However, there is curiosity about the impact of Joshua's face-off interview. Did Nano's mind games influence him? Stay tuned as we delve into this topic in the following video, highlighting the excitement in the heavyweight boxing division for 2024. Francis Ngannou's entry into the division has significantly elevated its appeal. In a landscape where a few fighters traditionally held dominance, Ngannou's arrival has injected a potent mix of knockout power and speed, posing a credible threat. The buzz surrounding Anu's impending clash with Anthony Joshua is palpable. While many predictions favor AJ, experts acknowledge the potential threat posed by the Predator. The looming bout presents a daunting task for Joshua, with numerous discussions centering around the formidable challenge ahead. Naganu's sheer size and imposing presence had disrupted the division's status quo. Their recent face-off, the first encounter before the fight, showcased Naganu's confidence, challenging Joshua both mentally and in terms of self-assurance. During this pre-fight meeting, Naganu not only exuded confidence, but also teased fans about his intentions for the upcoming match against the former heavyweight champion. He made it clear that he and AJ are gunning for a knockout. Naganu's unwavering confidence shines through, emphasizing that he is fully prepared for the challenge and unshaken by Joshua's remarkable undefeated streak in 2023. Right, and then, uh, yes, I heard that he does have a chin. I don't know if it's true or not. We're going to find out. I hope I had an opportunity to test that out. That's my, that's my wish. In the face-off, Naganu boldly asserted that his previous opponent was tougher than Joshua, a statement that took everyone by surprise. This claim is notable considering Naganu came remarkably close to handing the Gypsy King his first career loss. It's worth emphasizing that Naganu has yet to face AJ in the ring, making his confidence in predicting a victory on March 8th even more striking. Most resistant person out there, and that is not a disrespect to AJ. I don't believe that AJ would take what Tyson, Tyson You don't did. think AJ is resilient? You don't think AJ has a chin? As much as True Jordy, from the Pain Game podcast, recently analyzed the face-off, noting Naganu's confidence and AJ's moment of hesitation. According to Jordy, Naganu's strategic mind games, rooted in his MMA background, have shifted the psychological dynamics. This battle goes beyond physical prowess. It tests mental fortitude and resilience. Jordy contends that Naganu has effectively won this psychological skirmish. Naganu's composed demeanor contrasts sharply with his reputation as a formidable puncher, serving as a calculated intimidation tactic. His portrayal as an unbothered predator unnerves Joshua, instilling doubt in his capabilities for the upcoming fight. I call up. You for asked for the fight. I asked for this fight. I watched him fight, and then I made I made a tweet. <laughs> I like the fact that Francis is saying, I wanted this. Let's not get it twisted. It wasn't offered to me. I called for this. Naganu's explicit declaration as the aggressor in the upcoming matchup increases the psychological pressure on Joshua. By openly stating his intention to challenge Joshua, Naganu strategically changes the narrative, positioning himself as the hunter and Joshua as the target. This bold move directly challenges Joshua's dominance in the boxing world, portraying Naganu as a formidable force intentionally confronting him and raising the stakes of their impending encounter. The unfolding psychological warfare highlights the intricacies of combat sports, 
where the battle begins well before the fighters step into the ring. Naganu's calculated use of intimidation tactics underscores the crucial role of mental strength for Joshua. He must not only prepare for the physical onslaught of Naganu's power, but also fortify his mental resilience against the doubts and fears that Naganu's intimidation game aims to instill. Jordy's analysis emphasizes how Naganu successfully sowed seeds of doubt in AJ's mind, focusing on Naganu's size and proactive approach in seeking a confrontation with AJ. Naganu's commanding physique and unparalleled strength present Joshua with a challenge of unprecedented magnitude in his esteemed boxing journey. This fresh physical dynamic has injected tangible tension, as Naganu's sheer physical prowess now looms over Joshua's once unshakable confidence. Francis Naganu, a heavyweight force emerging from the MMA landscape, doesn't just bring seasoned experience but a presence that commands both admiration and intimidation. His transition from the UFC to boxing signifies a keen understanding of the nuanced psychological aspects in combat sports. Naganu's size and strength go beyond physical attributes. They function as strategic tools cleverly employed to plant seeds of uncertainty in Joshua's mind. The visual disparity during their face-offs, where Naganu towers above Joshua, serves as a vivid reminder of the unique physical challenge unfolding. This shift prompts intriguing queries about Joshua's ability to maintain dominance against an opponent who not only matches but potentially exceeds his physical capabilities. I've seen take waxing fucking four ounce gloves like they're nothing, elbows are fury. I've never really seen him look hurt in my life. I've seen him look knackered and tired. I've never seen him look like he's been hurt by a punch. Furthermore, Naganu's strategic move as the aggressor significantly raises the psychological stakes for the upcoming bout. By openly stating his pursuit of Joshua, Naganu cleverly shifts the narrative, casting himself as the predator on the hunt. This bold tactic increases the pressure on Joshua to defend not just his title, but also his position as the top figure in the boxing world. Naganu's unconventional approach disrupts the usual roles of hunter and hunted, pushing Joshua to grapple with the idea of becoming the perceived vulnerable target in this high-stakes showdown. Naganu's calculated move aims to unsettle Joshua, prompting him to reassess his strategies and perhaps question his own strengths. This role reversal has significant implications, pushing Joshua to navigate unfamiliar territory in protecting his position against an adversary unafraid to assert dominance. Inu's assertive stance goes beyond physical strength and boxing technique, delving into the realms of mental resilience, strategic planning, and adaptability. Even under pressure, former British MMA fighter and sports analyst Michael Bisping shares a similar perspective. Known for his insightful commentary, Bisping provides nuanced insights into the dynamics of this unique crossover fight, highlighting the challenges and opportunities for both fighters. Right? Francis Ngannou is going to be a better version and a more terrifying and effective boxer against Anthony Joshua than what he was against Tyson Fury. And Bisping recognized Ngannou's powerful striking, a trait that has made him a feared figure in MMA. Describing Ngannou's punch like being hit by a speeding Ford Escort, Bisping highlighted the substantial force behind his strikes. Despite Joshua's boxing expertise, Bisping noted that facing Naganu's unique power presents a new challenge. Naganu's knockout capability, according to Naganu, introduces an unpredictable and dangerous element that could unsettle Joshua, despite his seasoned experience. However, Bisping balanced this acknowledgement by underscoring Naganu's need to transition effectively from MMA to boxing. While Naganu's power is formidable, Bisping stressed the importance of adapting to boxing's different skill set, including footwork, head movement, and composure, areas where Joshua has excelled. Despite Nano's power, Bisping suggested that Naganu's success in boxing depends on his ability to adjust his striking for the ring's distinct dynamics, which significantly differ from those in MMA. Bisping touched on the psychological aspect of the fight, acknowledging Naganu's confidence from UFC success while cautioning against underestimating Joshua's mental strength. He stressed Joshua's high-level boxing experience, along with his power and technical skills, making him a formidable opponent for Naganu. What are your predictions? Can Naganu overcome AJ? Does AJ seem less confident after the face-off? Share your thoughts in the comments. That concludes today's discussion. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for timely notifications. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.